Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. Hey everybody, I'm Yoda. I mean, Grogu here. Baby Yoda. Grogu. I'm the child. Dustin. Because you're the old man. <laughs> Alright, so I'm Dustin. I'm the bourbon guy. That is not bourbon. You're Keith. I'm the music guy. Why are oh. you guys watching The Letterman Show? Yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, go. Do this. We got this. Did you know Letter Letterman was from Indiana? I did not, but I do know that I have been to the Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan garage more than once. Hmm. Now you know why, because he was from Indiana. Um, so this is from our North Carolina friend, uh, and they had sent us not bourbon, it technically that is a North American whiskey, so it is in bounds. It is in bounds. Okay, thank God it's only at a hundred proof. Oh, that's uh, so that's better than what I expected. So a lot of times uh, these moonshines that are not moonshine, the minute you can legally sell it, it's not moonshine. It's not. It's whiskey. Um, that's taxed but to call it moonshine yeah um because moonshine's not taxed normally these things are proofed down to like 40 proof oh really yeah they're they're like drinking syrup well it's called midnight moonshine it's blackberry oh shit i may be very interested in this i'm gonna leave see ya. dude i'm hoping it's a blackberry mash and not blackberry infused it says distilled from corn okay so it's blackberry infused yeah but it's uh, Junior Johnson's family recipe. Handmade moonshine with real blackberry. All right. Dude, are there blackberries in there? There are. Holy oh, there are. Right. Wow. Half that jar is blackberries. Dude. This may be really damn good. This isn't infused. They just put fruit in the freaking moonshine. Yes. <sighs> North this, Carolina friend, you're cool. This this might be awesome. My, my hoops keep going Wait. up. What? We can't pour it in our glass. We don't have any mason jars. Fuck it. We're drinking it out straight out of there. There's only one way to drink moonshine, guys. So just set that shit there and we'll yeah. alternate. All right. So uh, the music. I am super psyched. I have heard this. What is it? So what we have is a request for Earl Scruggs' Foggy Mountain Breakdown. Never heard of it. So Foggy Mountain Breakdown is one of those hundred-year-old bluegrass songs. Oh. And the people who, because it's so goddamn fast, the people who play it tend to be legendary. Uh, so, you know, I've seen Chet Atkins do this. Uh, I've seen, I'm pretty sure I've seen Roy Clark do it. Um, Jerry Reed. I mean, on guitar. But it's really, when a guitar player is playing this song, man, that's speed, because this is a banjo tune. So who's doing this one? Well, this is kind of a, a, a bit of a surprise. I want it to be a bit of a surprise. So this is Earl Scruggs, who is a banjo legend. Hmm. Like, widely considered one of the best banjo players to ever live. Okay. But I think... I want, I intentionally chose a video. There are like five or six different videos of Earl Scruggs playing this song. I intentionally chose one because I wanted Dustin to be surprised. So uh, let's check this out. That's this is going to be something very nice. Our next guest will be appearing at the 6th Annual New Yorker Festival on Saturday, September 24th. Please welcome men with banjos who know how to use them, featuring Steve Martin and Earl Scruggs. Take it away, folks. Steve Martin. Uh, is that Earl? Yeah.
foggy mountain breakdown. Did you know Steve Martin could do that? No. Moonshine to this song is perfect. Fucking fits. It's got blueberries stuck in the wood. Look at those right hands. Imagine the cows on those fingers. Oh, they got those little pets on. show and play Foggy Mountain Breakdown? Yeah. Yeah, yes, let's do yes, that. Yes, I do. <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, song and, and whiskey, well paired. Uh, I am afraid of this. No shit. Because I can barely taste alcohol. At and all. it's a hundred proof. It's a hundred proof. You d- Yeah, that was like, you can put it in your mouth and just let it sit there. No burn. None. That's fucking dangerous. This is how you wind up passed out in your front yard throwing up purple. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. That's this. This is how that happens. You had to throw the purple in there, because you know it would be. It would be. And those blackberries are really subtle, but at the same time, not. I, you got. I can't drink any more of that. Y'all want to keep get drunk? Mm-mm. Because this will do it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Quick like fast. Mm-mm. I actually have hey, a... Hey, I, I'm hey, not allowed. Hey, Caleb. <laughs> He's why. Yo, Caleb. I'm, I'm not allowed. <laughs> it's shit. Here's, so, Midnight Moon. You have been warned. This is dangerous. So, flavor-wise, it's what you'd expect. It's... <laughs> oh, shit. This freaking is... berries. So, on their label. Yeah. So, this may be one of them moonshines that went legit. I bet it was. It says on the back of the label, this could also just be a good story. Few family recipes carry a jail sentence. (laughs) But to Junior Johnson's family, it was a way of life. With the law on his heels, Junior ran the finest moonshine to the dry rural south. Midnight Moon follows the Johnson family small batch recipe. It's proudly made by our very own hands and crafted with all natural real fruit. Does it say where? Uh, 
produced and bottled by Piedmont Distilleries in Madison, North Carolina. So I'm going to give you a about a 95% chance yep. that my uncle ran that shit back in the day. Yeah. Because he ran with, you remember the big names that started out NASCAR? Yeah. He ran Shine with those dudes. That's how NASCAR kind of got started, right? Yeah. Shiners, dr- yep. racing? Yep. Could I get a spoon? Four. What are you going to do with a damn spoon? Entertain these folks. How am I? First, he's going to open the door I'm supposed to close all the time. <laughs> oh, he didn't open it. He went the other through the other one. But I don't, I don't know what he's doing with a spoon. I'm a little afraid. A fork? Better than a spoon. For what? Oh, oh God. All right, I want one. <laughs> oh, now it's a good idea. Now, now, now I want one. Whoa, oh, shit. Catch me one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Holy shit, balls. Look at that. Show them that. See? Fork. <laughs> shit. Did you find the alcohol? Found the hundred proof part. <laughs> God damn. You want this one, too? Fuck no. <laughs> you were not lying. <laughs> Holy shit, that's moonshine. God. Wow. Y'all, it's one thing to drink moonshine. It's another thing to chew it. Well, this might be the last video we record tonight. Because <laughs> we found exactly all the... God almighty. So the fork was a good idea, right? I get it now. I'll forget it by tomorrow, but I get it now. Yo, Caleb. <laughs> okay, then. So that was a pretty awesome song, tune. Yeah. And you got to be skilled at the banjo to play that shit. Foggy Mountain Breakdown is like it's a bar for strings musicians. I'm gonna put the lid back on this. Please, die. please, Joanna will thank you. You're welcome. I'm not allowed (laughs) moonshine. There's a reason. No, Caleb. I don't think Caleb is either. I thought it's 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 a rough night. Let me tell you. Uh, Something about Pappy. Yeah, I got yelled at for shooting Pappy. Still makes him cringe. <laughs> but it, it needed to be done. Right. All right. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video. Also, North Carolina friend, very well done. So, if you enjoyed this video, uh, go ahead and give us a like. Go ahead and subscribe. Drop down in the comments. Tell us what songs we need to check out, what whiskeys we need to need to try. What are, you, what are you doing with your... No. Nothing. Well, bring it up here. You've fondled it. Bring it up here. I'll do it in the next video. Oh, okay. <laughs> Till next time, guys. See you.